Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on using ripples with Material UI. Ripples are attached to almost every basic component, such as buttons or checkboxes. You can change a ripple's parameters and behavior by modifying values on the Material Ripple component. For this demo, we'll create a basic panel and attach a Material Ripple to it. When we press play, we can see that it works out of the box. Nice! Let's take a look at the values we can modify. By default, Auto Size is set to True and the Size Mode is set to Fill Rect. This means that when the ripple is created, it will automatically calculate the size it needs to be to completely cover the panel's rect and expand accordingly. Let's uncheck Toggle Mask and move towards Center for now so we can take a better look at the ripple. You may notice that as long as the pointer is kept pressed over the panel, the ripple will not disappear. When we change the size mode to match size, we can see that the expanded width and height of the ripple match that of the panel's rect. We can also uncheck auto size and specify our own size in pixels. Let's re-enable toggle mask. Now we'll take a look at the speed value. As the name suggests, it controls the speed of the ripple's animations. We can also change the color of the ripple. Next, we have the start and end alpha values. The start alpha controls the alpha level of the ripple's color when it's first created, and the end alpha controls the level when the ripple is fully expanded. After the ripple starts contracting, it will always fade to transparent. When we change the start alpha to be 1, we can see that the ripple starts completely opaque and then fades down to the end alpha level, which is 0.1. Let's change that to 0.6 and take a look. Now, let's take a look at the Move Towards Center toggle. When unchecked, the ripple is created, animates, and fades away exactly where we click. When Move Towards Center is checked, the ripple will be created at the point that is clicked, but will move towards the center of the panel as it expands. Material Ripple is also responsible for highlighting a graphic when interacted with. We can change the Highlight When value to Never for No Highlight, or Hovered, or clicked. When auto highlight is selected, Material Ripple will intelligently modify the highlight color to match a blend between the ripple color and the panel color. We can, however, uncheck this and specify our own highlight color. Well, that's it for this tutorial on ripples. Be sure to check out the ripples example scene to play with them for yourself. See you soon for the next tutorial.